Hello and welcome to another SyncRaft Scenario tutorial. I'm Abel, Product Specialist at Zeiss. Today we're going to be giving you an overview of how to set up the system for the very first time. Everything from license management and hardware registration to remote access. SyncRaft Scenario is our tracking software that runs on our Origin device. As part of Scenario, we also include Wrangler, which requires its own license, but allows you to record your tracking data. Once you have recorded your tracking data using Wrangler, you can use our software application Export to export this tracking data into varying formats. This export software is not run directly from the Origin device. It can be installed on a separate computer or laptop and run from there. For this initial setup, we must use a monitor with a keyboard and mouse so that we have direct access to our origin. This access is sufficient for our first time setup or prep at a rental house, but it's not recommended during actual production. Accessing the UI via the HDMI or DisplayPort will affect performance whilst tracking. During production, we strongly recommend that you always access the SyncRaft scenario from a remote computer or a laptop. Now let's turn the system on. So with your Origin now powered, you will be taken directly to the welcome page. So let's begin. First, we need to connect the origin to the internet. This can be over Wi-Fi or a LAN connection. If you're connected directly over LAN, the software will auto detect the internet connection and allow you to move on to the next step. If connecting over Wi-Fi, you will need to click network configuration and connect manually. When using a Wi-Fi connection, you will need to ensure the Origin's Wi-Fi antennas are connected properly to ensure reliable connectivity. Once connected, Scenario will move on to the next stage of the setup. The Origin will now check if there's a latest version of Scenario software that can be downloaded. Once downloaded, the system will ask to be restarted and you'll be taken back to the home page. You can now do the third step, which is our hardware registration. With the origin now online and the latest software downloaded, we can now register the hardware to your Zeiss online portal. This is where all of your licenses can be purchased and managed. You will see an eight digit code that is unique to your system this code must be registered within the Zeiss portal. We'll now jump out of the scenario software to another computer where we can see the registration process. Welcome to the Zeiss portal. You will need to log into your Zeiss account with your credentials that came with your original SyncRaft scenario purchase. Once logged in, we simply navigate to the hardware registration input your eight digit code and register. Once registered, we can head back over to SyncRaft Scenario to check that it's been accepted. The origin will automatically detect the registration once complete and the green icon will be displayed. On the Zeiss portal, you will be able to purchase your licenses as soon as your hardware is registered. The system will be placed in reduced mode which can be used for basic setup and testing, but to be production ready, we need to get our licenses. So let's jump over to our portal and order our licenses. Back in the Zeiss portal, you will be able to purchase a range of different licenses, such as Scenario, Wrangler, and VLPs. The licenses that you purchase on the Zeiss portal will appear within your scenario software. We will purchase our scenario license now to show you this process. We 
we can now hit activate. Once purchased, we simply go to the license icon at the bottom of the software where you will see your active licenses. If you cannot see the license you have purchased, simply go to manage licenses and press the fetch button, which will pull the license directly from the portal when connected to the internet. Here you can see our active scenario license with a green icon. You'll notice that our Wrangler license is missing from our license tab. So let's head back over to the portal and get our Wrangler license as well. You can also purchase virtual lens packs for specific groups of Zeiss lenses. We offer some free with the software, but additional ones can be purchased too. Again, I will fetch the licenses we have just purchased, which will now appear in our license library, where we can see the start and end dates for each. Once you have purchased a license, you can also revoke it from within the scenario software and move it to a different origin device. So with the system now prepped, we have one final step to get you production ready. We need to set up the remote access through our web UI, which allows you to remove your monitor setup and access the scenario software through a web browser by simply using a laptop or a PC that is on the same network as your origin. This remote setup also improves the Origin's overall performance, and it's highly recommended that you use this workflow. So depending on whether you're using Wi-Fi or LAN connection, be sure to note down the static IP addresses for each. For best performance, we'll plug an ethernet connection directly into the laptop this laptop is now connected to a network that consists of the origin as well as our render engine. We then set our origin IP address manually, ensuring that the IP address falls within the correct range. If using your local Wi-Fi, ensure the laptop or computer is on the same network as your origin. And when using Wi-Fi, you will automatically be given a static IP. Once the IPs are configured, you will be able to head to your browser and input the IP address of your origin like so. This will take you directly to the scenario software where you will have full access and can manage the software from here. Now that you're production ready, you can begin creating your configurations specifically for your needs. Lastly, I'll give you a quick software overview to get you started. First, we have our equipment tab. Here, you will add details of the cameras and lenses you will be using for your production. We have the tracking tab. Within this tab, you will pick how the system will track, whether you're using natural features or infrared markers. And finally, we have our Wrangler tab, which gives you the ability to record your tracking data in real time to be used in post-production. We have other tutorials that explain these tabs in a lot more detail, but as you can see, your first time Syncraft scenario setup is carefully guided, ensuring everything is easily done one step at a time. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.